today I want to talk about the product rule. Uh, one of the early rules we uh, use in differentiation. Now the product rule is used when we have a function that comprises uh, two or more parts that are multiplied out together. Um, and this is the general form. If we only worry about um, equations where there are two parts, although you know it does work just as well whether there are three, four, five parts that are all multiplied out together. Um, so it goes like this, if y equals uv, where u and v are each one of the parts, then y dash equals uv dash plus vu dash. In other words, uh, the, diff the derivative uh, is equal to the first part times the derivative of the second part plus the second part times the derivative of the first part. Here's an example we can use. Um, ordinarily with something like this, we would just expand it out and find the derivative in the usual way. But uh, we're going to start with a simple example to see how the product rule works. So we'd say u equals 3x is the first part, and v is equal to x plus 2. So all we need to do now is, well, the next thing we need to do is find the derivative of each part. So it's 3 there, and v dash is equal to 1. And then you'll notice that uh, what, we, what do we need to find first? u, v dash. All right, well, there's u, v dash there. And then we've got to add to that vu dash. Well, that's that times that, isn't it? So it's a cross multiplication sort of thing we get involved in here. So y dash, whoops, is going to equal uh, uv dash is simply 1. Well, we don't really need that 1, but I'll put it down so you can see where everything's coming from. Times 3x plus uh, 3 times x plus 2. Bit of advice, I always put the shorter of the expressions out front. All right, therefore, y dash equals 3x plus 3x, just getting rid of the brackets over here, plus 6, and therefore, y dash equals 6x plus 6. Now, of course, you'd get the same thing if you just, um, if you uh, just expanded out the uh, expression up there and differentiated term by term. Let's have a uh, look at another example, slightly more complicated, this one. So what have we got here? Well, we've got u is equal to uh, 2x cubed minus 2x squared. So u dash, finding the derivative of u, we get 6x squared minus 4x. And over here, we've got v equaling 3x plus 1 and v dash equals 3. So cross multiplying that uh, times that plus that times that we will get this y dash equals um, now I'll, I'll do the easy bit first write that down first 3 times 2x cubed minus 2x squared plus um, what have we got now we've got 3x plus 1 times 6x squared minus 4, I just ran out of room a bit, minus 4x like so. Alright, so what do we get here? We get equaling 6x cubed minus 6x squared plus, now we've got a foil here, first outer inner last term thing binomial product in other words so we've got 3x times 6x squared is 18x cubed and that's my first terms the outer terms are 3x times negative 4x so that is minus 12x squared inside terms next 1 times 6x squared is positive 6x squared and then last terms 1 times negative 4x is negative 4x Okay, collecting like terms, my advice here would be to start with the highest powers of x and work your way down to the constant, if there is one, uh, and there isn't in this case. Okay, so I've got uh, x cubed terms to worry about. Uh, two of them is 6x cubed plus 18x cubed is 24x cubed. Uh, now my squared terms, I've got three of those. I've got a negative 6x squared that's going to be knocked out by the 
plus 6x squared and then I've got negative 12x squared so I'm left with negative 12x squared and then I've got one x term it seems which is minus 4x okay so that's our first look at the product rule